Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to know how to use global change in Primavera P6. This is a totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. At this video we I will show you an example for global changes uses in Primavera P6. Global changes are a very useful command which can help you to save a lot of time and efforts. There is a lot of uses for global change and here I will give an example. Let's take this project as an example. In this schedule we can notice that the physical percentages are not updated while the duration percentage is already updated. Now the physical percentages should be equal to duration percentages. And if we want to do this manually for thousands of activities, it will take me a lot of time and efforts. Even sometimes we may have some errors while entering the data. So, for this case we can use global change and do this task with few clicks. The global change will make our life easier and smoother. Now let's go to tools and from the tools list search for the global change. Once you can see it click on it. Here I will add a new global change and I will change its name to physical percentage equal to duration percentage. Now for parameter, I will ask Primavera to filter for me the activities in progress, as it is the only activities with percentage complete, and we will exclude the not started and completed activities. Now once the Primavera found those activities in progress. Then I will press add and ask Primavera to add an equation and consider my physical percentage as a parameter, and to make it equal to duration percentage value. Now we click on change. Now Primavera is showing me the preview of the changes will be applied to the schedule. You can see the old value of each activity, and the new value is per the changes applied. Now we can see that the Primavera has changed the old values of my physical percentage according to my global change. So, I will select commit changes. Would you like to save the log file? For your record you can save it. But for me I will not save. Now I'll select no, and from here I will select ok. Next apply the changes and again commit to those changes and close it. Now you can see that all physical percentage activities have been updated, and it is all equal to the duration percentage complete. Fortunately, we don't need to modify this one by one and waste our time. This is an example of global change benefits. And we can use the global change for many other purposes. I wish this video was useful, and I have added a new information for you. Thanks for watching.